All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasha Allah, first and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makhai Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makhai Kodash, Barak Dum, to use a quantum, Waakim Waakwaf, you know you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Giving diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keep in faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Shai Ba'an Yashara, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai on a grape of the cluster, right? The elect, right? Because we're um, in, these, in these last days, you know, you have to start with the elders, the apostles on down. You know, the men of the Lord are on the highways and the byways pushing his word in truth and sincerity, you know, pumping out video lessons, warning you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans that all hell getting ready to break loose. You know, fire brimstone is coming in a form of ICBM nuclear missiles. You see that and you are to return back to your God, your power, your Hawabashim Yahushai. Return back to your God-given nationality and repent in these last days. But the vast majority don't get it. The vast majority won't repent. The vast majority don't fear Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Why is that? Because Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has sent an angel to block their understanding, to block them from hearing these words, man. They can hear, but they can't perceive it. They don't understand. It. You see that? They can know the Israelites, but they don't understand it, man. They don't have the wisdom. They don't have the Rachak Kodash. You see? That's why I entitled it a grape of the cluster, the elect, man. You see, the Heavenly Father chosen a grape out of the whole cluster of grapes, man. So out of the entire nation of Israel, he chose you. You see that? He chose you to get this truth. He chose you to get this word, this understanding. You know, he didn't choose them. He's not dealing with these other Israelites out here, man. I was having conversations with some jakes in my job. And they all through. Then they can be cool. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. They they cool. We chop it up, you know, we laugh here and there. You see that? But like the elder Rakhan was going into, cool is lukewarm. Cool is cold. They're in the world. They're not of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. They don't believe, man. One is a skeptic, one don't believe in. Uh, Lord Yahweh Shai, he, he just, this dude, man, you know, another one, he heard that he walked by the Israelites, you know, he mentioned that out of his own mouth, <laughs> you know, because look, when we have conversations, I'm using wisdom, I'm not telling them, you know, everything, what I'm involved in, you know, but when when, when stuff, um, when the conversation pops up about the scriptures or something like that, you know, I'll ask them certain questions and he, see what they, you know, see what they say, you know, and one of them asked my other manager, he said, how, he said, he, he said, you talking about the Hebrews, because he mentioned like, um, Pan-African, Pan-African, um, uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, how they pan African, pan Africanness, whatever they call themselves, right? He mentioned to them, and then um, one of them asked him. He said, you, "You talking about the Hebrews?" Then I looked at him. I was like, "What you know about the Hebrews?" <laughs> I said, "You ever seen them before?" And he was like, "Yeah, you know." Then he said, "Yo, listen, man, but them you gotta walk right by them." I was like, "Why?" Then he was like, "Because you know, even white people, white, white people walk by, I tell them, listen, man, keep walking, man, because they gonna they gonna get on you, right?" So my first thought, he heard the word. That's it. Am I going to sit there and say, yo, I'm an Israelite, you know, you got to get right. No, I'm at, I'm at work. You see that? It's not the time nor the place. You see, but these conversations keep popping up because we're in the last days and it's clear as day that they got spirits on them. But let's read these precepts. I don't want to make this too long. Make sure to the point, right? But 2nd Edges 9, I'm going to start at verse 21. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me. Let's start. Let's start up some. This whole, this whole chapter is beautiful, man. But I'm going to read this point. Then we'll start up some. So it says, 2nd Urges 9 verse 21. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. You see that? So who's this talking? Who's that great? Who's that plant of the great? See, the Israelites, we're a great nation. We're a great people. And it's like in Isaiah, how about Shemel Shah? But he said, I kept me a plant of the great people. I kept, I kept me a grape of the cluster. That's the remnant, man. That's the elect. Which, you know, low willing, we're part of that number. You have to continue enduring and giving diligence to be a part of that number, man. And it's a blessing that we believe on these scriptures. It's a blessing that we, we know what we know and understand the things that we've been taught, you know, by our elders and apostles. And they've been taught by their elders, man, going back to Elder Abba Bivens, man. You see? Let's read on down. It says, let the multitude perish then. You see that? Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. You see that? So... Those that don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you was born in vain. All right, you was born in vain if you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Meaning what? You was born to get put to death. 
the Lord looking at you like what purpose? Because what did King Solomon say? King Solomon said this is the conclusion of the whole matter because he searched out everything. Wickedness, folly, and enchantments. He searched out everything, man. Left hand, right hand. And what did he say? He said, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. That's it. And King Solomon was Yahweh Shai. You see that? He was Yahweh Shai, man. He said, fear the heavenly father Yahweh and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. So if you're on this earth and you're not even rehearsing righteous acts, you don't have faith in Yahweh Shai? You, you was born in vain. You was born to catch a missile. You was born to die in a famine. You was born to commit ca cannibalistic acts. You was born to get to get tortured in concentration camps. <laughs> See that? You was born to get your food stolen from you, man. You was born to watch your children die in front of you, man. You was born to get torn apart from your family. You know, you was born to get trampled down in the trees by military troops. You see, it's all time. You was, you was born to get put to death, man. You was born in vain. You see, it says, uh, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my grape be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. She said, he said, let my grape be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. The elect are perfect in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. And yes, we know we ain't shit. We sinners. So what does this mean? What's that scripture in Revelation? When it says, in their mouth was found no guile, they without fault before the throne of the Most High. So, in the eyes of the Father, he already ordained, I'm going to have mercy on these spirits right here. I'm going to have mercy upon these men, these women, and these children. The elect, the great, that I kept for myself. I'm going to have mercy upon them, and they're perfect in my eyes, man. All their sins is covered in the blood of his son, Yahweh Shai. You see that? All the sins of the elect are covered in the blood of Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior, man. So, if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, you got to pay for your own sins. And that's scary, right? Because, whew. It's about to get bad out here, man. It's about to get bad, right? It's about to get bad. And you people out there that's going to be, you want to be uh, skeptical about this truth. You see that? You want to be a non-believer. You want to scoff. You want to mock. You want to say after scriptures. You see that? What do you think the Heavenly Father going to do to you, man? Because they, they always assume that the, the book, which I, that's in Second Peter uh, one and twenty one, which I'm not going to get, but they think this book is oh I'm reading it. Oh that's your own, that's your own interpretation. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Just, I'm being moved by the Holy Spirit, you know, and through the Spirit, through the Spirit, and probably how about your shy, starting with the elders, the apostles, on down a great millstone, you know, and brothers that teach a sound doctrine, like-minded doctrine, you know, uh, we have the truth. We have the true understanding of this book. We're teaching it the correct way. It's that simple, man. It's not. It's not nothing boastful. We, the Lord bless us with it, man. We, we just humble servants, man. We just lowly servants doing what we're supposed to be doing. The Lord bless us to understand this book and said, God didn't teach it. And we're doing so. So we're teaching it the correct way. But you, yo, you people, you Israelites, man, you're pissing me off, man. But hey, I can't get mad at you because that's, that's, that's your lot. See? But let's let's focus more on the elect, right? Like the lesson is going into a grape of the cluster. The elect. So let's let's start at verse, stay in the same chapter, 2nd Elders 9. And I'm going to start at verse 1, right? I'm going to start at verse 1 and read on down. It says, he answered me then, and we know who wrote this, right? The prophet Ezra, right? The prophet Ezra, which um, the heavenly father, Yahweh, through the archangel Uriel, was showing Ezra a lot of things. You know, Ezra was getting a lot of visions, dreams. You see, he saw the end. He saw the beginning. You know, Ezra, you know, he got a lot of revelations, you know? So, 2nd Ezra 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest the most high yahweh will begin to visit the world which he made so the heavenly father how does he visit the world isaiah 29 and 6 you know storm tempest flame of devour and fire you see that and he goes to ultimately send his son yahweh shy Right, so he's about he's visiting the world which he made by judgments and plagues and tribulations and anguish. Right? So we are to measure the time diligently, man. Understand the time that we're living in. Right? It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Because the scriptures say what? He declared the end from the beginning. This is the most high's movie. So if you're not part of the elect, you know, you're just not a part of the elect, man. You know, and if you're if you a part of the elect, you, that's a beautiful, you're part of the elect. 
And we have a chance, man. You brothers, listen to this video. You few sisters, listen to the video. We have a high chance. Because in 2022, all this wickedness going on, all this folly and madness, these alphabets, these, these, <laughs> these murdering, these women are murderers, man. Protesting to, to, to murder humans. To murder, you know, there's, you know. I'm not even going too deep into it, right? But if in 2022, you believe in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you believe in his truth and his scriptures, you you, you um, teach in sound doctrine, you understand sound doctrine, all the understanding of the scripts, you know, hey, man, you have a good chance of being part of the elect because scriptures do say in John, was that the, either John or Matthew, I believe it's Matthew 6. I could be mistaken. Let me look for it right quick, man. I got to get it. I got to get that. Let me see if it's John. Could be John 6. Right, bear with me. I can I'll get this script. script. Right? But if I can't find it, I'm just going to quote it. Quote it through the spirit. Is this it? see now I don't think it's John 14 yeah it's not John 14 Lord willing I find it that's a good one so it might be in Matthew it might definitely be Matthew um, 6 let's go to that right that's Matthew 5 I haven't read this in a little, well, actually, I read it not so long ago, but I can't, I can't remember exactly where it's at. Let me see. We're well, quoting it right quick when it says, um, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, right? If you brothers know, you can put it in the comment section below, you know, if you're the Lord's will, right? So, Salakia, I don't want to lose my train of thought. So... Going back, if in 2022, if you believe in Yahweh Shem Al Shai, you believe in these scriptures and truth and sincerity, of course, you have a high chance to be part of the elect because the Heavenly Father um, um, chose you, you know, through His Son Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shem Al Shai chose you to believe on Him, man. You didn't choose Him; He chose you. You see, I, I really want to read it, man. I really want to read it. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly where it's at, man. If it be the Lord's will, I'll find it. I have a good feeling it's in John, right? A great feeling, honestly, that's in John. But let's find it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna find it. If it's not John 14, call all y'all by Shemel Shai. It's definitely it's John 15, right? John 15, and I'm gonna start at verse 16, straight to the point. Ye have not, this is reigning red, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. You see that? Or I'm going to go back to second edges right quick. It's going to go more into it. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. So bringing forth fruit, fruit meat for repentance. You see, that's you brothers out there, you sisters that, that hearken and listen. You're the fruit, man. You're the sheep. It says, and that your fruit should remain, meaning enduring his truth, remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of, um, of the Father in my name, he may give it you. You see that? So that was a point, man. We did not choose Yahweh Shai. We didn't choose the Most High. They chose us. And like Brother Shakur Don, you know, and Brother Alayah, we were talking, you know, um, um, at camp not so long ago, a couple of days ago. Hey, man, the Most High, if you like him, he like you. That's it. If you're part of the elect, the Most High just love you, man. He just like you. You see, I ain't, ain't doing nothing special, you know. But the Lord God is doing special works. See, he ordained us to do special works to justify giving us that great deliverance, man. So this is a beautiful thing we were involved in. So um, in our spirit, which is 1444. Uh, okay, so I read that point. Call out Yahweh Shai. Allow me to remember where it was at and find it. You know, 
for edify the elect. It took me a little minute, but hey, man. My memory not the best. Like in 2nd Ernest 9, and I'm at verse 4. It says, I'm going to read verse 4 again. It says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things which was from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right? He declared in from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. It's clear. Right? It's clear the times that we end. That's why I mentioned in 2022, you believe in Yahweh Shimei Oshai, that's a blessing. Because there's a lot of people here doing wicked works. You know, all type of idolatry, adultery, witchcraft, murder, left hand sacrifices going on right now. As we as I'm doing this lesson right now, all type of wickedness going on, man. Jake don't care what he, what he eats, he just, he's out eat anything. You know? And spiritually, they, they're eating of anything. All the philosophies of Esau eat them. They believe in science. They don't believe in Yahweh Shimei Oshai. They believe in science, man. You know, they worship the, the creature more than the creator. So it says, even so, this is verse 6, even so, the times also of the of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, by your works, and by faith, and by faith, man, believing on Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see that? Faith without works is dead. You show your faith by your works. Going out there to the hours and the bowers, pushing this word of truth and sincerity, man. Doing these video lessons, reading, studying, praying. And I'm speaking to myself, man. First and foremost, man. I got to read more often. I got to study more often. I can do more lessons, man. You see? I ain't perfect. We got to go 10 times harder. That's in Baruch. Was that 4 and 28? You know, as well as your mind to go astray from your house by Shemel Shai. So be in return, seek him 10 times more. You know, wake up. When you wake up, think about how you can be a better man for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, better servant, you know, for the ministry, man. Pray to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai as much as you can. And like I said, I'm speaking to myself, man, first and foremost. You know, it says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby you have believed. See, it's all about faith, belief. And that's why you do works, because you believe. Example, and it's a worldly example. Say if you want to win an NBA championship, but you're not going to practice. You're not doing no works. You're not grinding in the gym. You're not working out. You're not stretching. You're not eating right. You're not doing no works, man. You don't believe you can win. You see that? You're saying doing, you're not trying at all. Your team is looking at you like, this dude don't really want He don't want to win. He don't want it, man. You see that? But... If you're in the gym, grinding, shooting, working on your threes, work, whatever you you know you lack on, you, whatever you're lacking in, you're working on it. You're working on your speed. You're working on your handles. You're working on your jump shot, your free throws, your corner, your, your corner threes, your floaters, your layups, <laughs> your reverse layups, your dunks. You're working on your defense. See, you're working on your defense, man. Because you're in this truth, man. It's a it's a war. You know, this, this right here, this is offense. And we got to play defense. When these demons attack us, we got to defend with the scripts. You know, no, 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 scripts say this, man. We keep pushing. We keep in prayer. Our prayer, that's defense, man. You see? So like I was saying, you got to work on everything, man. Now, if that person is working hard, he has a higher chance of winning that championship because he's going that hard. And say the whole team, if the whole team worked that hard, man, they have a good chance of make, uh, making the finals and, and winning. You see? But if none of them trying, you think they're going to win? No. See, that's why with this truth, you show your faith by your works. You grind. You plow. You keep pushing, man. You see? Give diligence to make thy calling and election short. It says, I'm reading verse 7 from the top. Second verse 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be able shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye I believe shall be preserved from the said perils. That's that great of the cluster. You're going to be preserved from the said perilous times, from the um, dangerous times that's coming upon this earth. And shall see my salvation in my land. That reminds me of Jeremiah 14 and verse 14. There's another one in the book of Ezekiel. It'll be the 37th chapter. We're going to see the salvation, man, of our people. Starting with the elect. Us getting beaten up out of here and getting saved, man, from our enemies, from, um, from the, the fire. You see that? From ourselves, man. We got to get chains out of these corruptible bodies. Right? The Lord will preserve us, man. But have faith in that. Don't let what no one else say shake your belief, man. They can say whatever they want. But you know why you believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. You know why you, you know, involved in this thing. You're fully persuaded in your own mind. 
You're supposed to be, as it's written in the scriptures, right? Let every man be, be fully persuaded in his own mind. The apostle Paul wrote that. So verse read on down, it says, And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I, watch this, for I, the heavenly father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. From the foundation of the world, you've been sanctified to get delivered. So no matter what you did in all your uh, carnations, right, incarnations, right, which means, you know, you know reincarnation back in the flesh, in flesh, well, I'll say all your in reincarnations, right, um, no matter what you did, all of them sins is forgiven. All of it's forgiven. Now, do that mean you go out there and do whatever you want to do? No. A, a member of the elect, not even going to do that. Why? Because we, the well part of the elect, of course, speak humbly, we fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So you're not going to go out there and sleep with another man's wife. You're not going to go out there and eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You're not going to go out there and, and bow down in, in the fucking um, mosque, you know, and bow to Allah. We're not going to do that. We're not going to go out there and do a little quick little ritual, witchcraft. We fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. We fear we're going to get jacked up. And he will jack us up. He jacked up Jonah when, he, when Jonah didn't listen to him, man. That was, that was hell. And the belly of the fish, which could have been Leviathan, three days, three nights. And that takes faith to believe in that. A lot of people here, they don't believe in stuff that's written in the scriptures, man. They think it's BS. But, but let him. Right? Let him. The Lord not dealing with you if you don't believe in miracles, man. All right? So it says, Then shall they, watch this. Just a beautiful point. Then shall they be in pitiful case. So if you don't believe in Yahweh Hashem Shah, you don't believe in a holy Bible, which holy means set apart or separate. Bible, Bible is goes back to Biblios or Biblos, which means scrolls or collection of books. If you don't believe in these holy collection of books, right? What's gonna happen? Then shall they, and matter of fact, let's get deeper than that. If you don't believe in Yahweh Hashem Shah, man, because he ordained this book to get put together, how it got put together in 1611, was, I believe 1609 through 11, if I'm not mistaken. Right, but even before that, we all the writings of our prophets, the apostles, the disciples, the acts of the apostles, and the acts of our, our Lord and, Sa and Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, was been the holy men was moved by the Holy Spirit as He wrote these things down. So if you don't believe in the Scripture, you don't believe in the Most High. If you don't believe in His laws, His commandments, and His Son, this is you right here. Watch this. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, man. You see, and they. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. You're going to dwell in torments, man. You're going to get tormented in these last days, man. Why? For such as in their life have received benefits. The Most High will give you benefits. He gave you a chance to get this truth, this word, by, by sending forth his prophets to warn you, you know. It says, um, sorry, where am I? And have not known me. So you receive benefits, but they, you, didn't, you don't know how about Shemel Shai. Instead, you know science. You see that? You know your own belly, what you want to be involved in, your own ways. The scripture say what? Uh, 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 trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Uh, what's that scripture in Proverbs? Let me get it right quick, man. I read this in a minute. This is classic right here. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. So you lean into your own understanding. The Lord, man, you got to trust in your heart by Shema Shai with all your mind. You see that? Because the word heart in the Hebrew is, was, is love, which means the mind, your spirit, where your spirit dwells, right? So let's read on down. It says, for the second out is 9 and 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have lost my law, meaning you despise his laws and commandments, right? Which is written inside the scriptures, right? In the, um, what you call the Torah. It's the Torah. The first five books written by uh, Moses, man. It says, uh, while they had yet liberty, I'm reading from the top, 2 Corinthians 9 11, and they that have lost my law, despise his laws and commandments, while they had yet liberty, freedom, meaning, you know, would they, well, let me not even say it, because there's no such thing as free will, but you had a chance, right? I'll say that, you got grace, right? You had grace, a grace period to do what? While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it so you had a grace period to get your act together but you understood not and you despised it man you said i'm not getting right i'm gonna keep living my own my own ways doing what i want to do i'm not serving yahweh bashim al shai matter of fact i don't believe in him that's what a lot of people are, are people say that's, that's what a lot of people say it says the same so you the same if you if this fits you it says the same must know it you're gonna know the truth you're going to know the ways of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You're going to meet your maker. The same must know it after death. 
by pain. You, you jakes it through, man. You see that? It says, and therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, because y'all gonna get jacked up regardless. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So the world is created for the righteous. But the righteous have to learn what wickedness is. That to be what? A perfect God. Knowing both good and evil. You see? So it says, Then answered I and said, I have said it before and now do speak. And will speak it also hereafter. And there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Man, so that grape of the cluster, the elect. It says, Like as a wave is greater than a drop. So the wave is all the people that's gonna get destroyed. That drop is the elect. That's that grape of that cluster. You see that? It says, uh, and he answered me saying, like as a field is, and so also the seed, as the flowers be, such are the colors also, such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husbandman, as the husbandman is himself, so is his husbandry also, for it was the time of the world and now when i prepared the world which was not yet made even for them to do in that now live no man speak against me for then everyone obeyed but now the manners of them which are, are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves so i considered the world and behold there was peril because of the devices that were come into it and I saw and spared it greatly, and I've kept me a great by the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the most do perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept. And my plant, which for with great labor, have I made it perfect. Let's get uh, Amos. Let's get the book of Amos. Right? Still up here. It's okay. <clears throat> I was like, I was TV in the background. Got that music playing in the background. An uh, uh, ad popped up, but hey, it's so good through spirit. I'm getting ready to close out. I don't want to make this too long. I want to get sure to the point with it. There we go. Amos right here. Amos 9. And we're going to start at verse 9, right? No, it's at verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. In America, Babylon Great is a sinful kingdom. The words, when you go into the word sin, according to the scriptures, the true definition of sin is breaking the Heavenly Father's laws and commandments. That's 1 John 3 and 4, right? If I'm not mistaken, let's see. 1 John 3 and 4, it says, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. When you transgress the laws of the Heavenly Father, that is sin. You see that? That's the definition of sin according to the Holy Bible. So it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, this is back to Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Al Shai, are upon this sinful kingdom. Which is this right here in context, we're talking about um our people, you know, back then. But you can put it into context into today. Look at America, man. They're doing the same act Sodom and Gomorrah did. They're doing the same thing Egypt did. The same thing Babylon did. The same thing the Greeks and the Romans did, man. The same thing the Assyrians did. All them wicked empires, man. Um, going even back to Babal, you know, Babel, the Tower of Babel with Nimrod, you know, they're trying to bring everyone together. They're trying to do the same shit today with the New World Order, the One World Government. You see that? There's nothing new under the sun. So, what do you think Yahweh Hashem is going to do to America, Babylon, Great, or to, to this world in general, this whole world, man? All these, all these realms, all these kingdoms. What do you think Yahweh Hashem is going to do? Destroy it. It's safe as grape. Save the elect. I'm reading. It. it says. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. And that's also in the parable of the net that was cast to the sea, and the capture of all kinds, unclean and clean, but cast with the bad away. So this is, we're in a sifting process, man. The Lord got his prophets scattered on the folk on this earth, pushing his word, and is sitting in the house of Israel, man. Those is part of the elect, those is not a part of the elect. It says, For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yahweh said, I have not lost one. 
You see, it says Judas Iscariot, the son of perdition. It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All the sinners of his people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not retake nor prevent us, man. You know, so it's time to repent. Because that's what we preach, man. Ultimately, we preach repentance. You know, being sorrowful for your actions, man. And returning back to your power, Yahweh by Shem El Shai. Because that's what, that's what we preach through the Spirit, man. But a lot of our people think they can do whatever they want to do and they're going to get away with it. Nah. All right, let's, let's, let's get Luke. Let's end it off, man. I just thought about another one. Luke 13 and 3. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, you shall all likewise perish. I mean, you get put to death, man. You see? So, a great part of the cluster, the elect, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, who have mercy upon his elect, and Lord willing, we are a part of our number. We must continue giving diligence. And we must continue enduring all the way. So, like, you know, uh, click the box in it. But, like I was saying, we must all endure and set a ladder in to make our call in the election sure. So, I pray you edified. I want to give call Lion La, Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Akhakudash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mostone, peace and salutations to the elect, scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without a mistake, Shalom. Ba 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 ba, Shalom.